Hey guys, what's going on? Seth Garbage here. Welcome back to another How To Edition. I am currently on my Warlock trying to get the Legendary Sector done. So I just want to take a few minutes to show you how to get this Legendary Sector done. Um, I am rocking the Top Tree Solar Class with Celestial Fire for my Warlock, uh, Winged Sun, Icarus Dash, and then Heat Rise. I'm pairing it with the Sun Bracers. Great, great exotic, super underrated. It's going to make sure that my grenades are lasting long. I'm also having my my Warmind build here, as I've uh, mentioned to you guys before. I have the Reactive Pulse, so this way I'm pushing away those enemies with Arc Energy. And I'm also going to make sure I have my Monte Carlo to keep that Markov Chain and Melee Ability cooldown. So the modifier for this one... I'm at the Bunker E15, so the modifiers here are going to be Anti-Barrier and Overload. It's Locked Equipment, uh, the recommended power is 1250, and the Burn is Void Damage. What I'm trying to do is get the Dawn Chorus. So if you look on your map here, let me just show you very quickly. You're going to make your way to the Eventide Ruins. I've got a lot of events open. And make sure that you can go to one of the Lost Sectors that guarantees the Exotic Head Armor. Try to do these on 1250, guys. I don't recommend that you do them on 1280s because it is damn near impossible. So without further ado, I've got my anti-barrier on my Monte Carlo. Oh, I'm sorry, I got my overload on my Monte Carlo, anti-barrier on my SMG. I got a nice hefty grenade launcher, and let's get started. All right, guys, the key here is to make sure that you get it done under 15 minutes. I would even recommend you getting it done under 12. It's definitely possible if you strategize. So what you want to do is you want to multitask here. You want to take your time, but you also don't want to overdo it. Oh, I just forgot to mention as well on my bond here. I put um, thermal overload, solar and stasis grenades cause uh, disruption for overload, which is perfect for this. So you're going to want to use the Monte Carlo crouched and just take care of the fallen enemies from a distance. I think that's the best way to go. Right. Also, you can shoot these grenades so they don't hurt you as much because since this is legendary, this is going to be very, very difficult for your enemies. All right. Okay, so as soon as you see yourself getting your shields low, just kind of go back in the middle. As you can see, your revives are kind of short. Oh, man, they, f they shot my grenade. Okay. As you can see, the enemies are super aggressive. Let me throw on a rift. Alright. So get as many enemies as you can down. The less you have to deal with with those adds, then you can concentrate on that guy. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. There we go. Now we do this. Barrage him with grenade launcher. Oop. Prime Engram, beautiful thing. All right. So far, so good. Want to make sure that you dispense this guy. All right, now we're on our way to the inside. First thing I would honestly recommend when you get in here is for you to get these guys free. It's something to, for, for the enemies to fire at. It gives them a nice, good distraction. They help you a bit. They're not going to guarantee that they're going to kill all the enemies, but at least you can have an easier time coming through. All right. So be careful here, guys. There is a void shielded minotaur, and he is very aggressive. Oh, come on. There we go. Goblin's down. There he is. See, he's distracted by that guy. And there we go. All right, so far so good. It really also helps very quickly, guys. Let me just show you. Sorry, don't want to interrupt the action. Helps a lot if you have the grenade ammo finder here on your hood, and also grenade launcher scaver on your legs. So keep that in mind as we're moving forward. Oop, I like to make sure I grab my glacial stalwarts here. As you can see, they're already causing havoc in this middle room here. So if you can. Just kind of keep them busy a little bit. 
All right, here it comes, here it comes. You want to throw some grenades around? There we go. Try to peek in some of these other areas here. Finish them if you can and get out of the way because of those arc pools. Now here comes... Hold on. Oh. Gotta love me a rift. That's an anti-barrier. Oh, really? There we go. And just look at that. Beautiful. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, this guy I recommend. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Got to make sure you stay out of the way of those void blasts. Two grenades should do it. And one more. Ooh, that almost ended badly. All right, so far so good, and we still got lots of time to spare. So you want to make it to this last room with at least five or six lives. And again, it helps to kind of sneak in and out, concentrate on one target at a time, let these guys come through, and then once the wyverns come in, have your grenade launcher ready. And as he's distracted, there we go. Get it. Get it. Yes. Got to get those wyverns down. That is the priority. Okay. So far, so good. Watch out for those arc pools. Okay. Here's where things are going to get interesting. I'd recommend super. Yeah, I would have recommended actually not to do that. I kind of messed up a little bit, but I still have some revives. There's going to be two overload champions that are going to appear. All right, so stick to the same strategy as soon as the Hydra spawns. Want to make sure that you maintain your distance. Use these walls to hide. Since these guys, since the Hydra is going to be really, really busy with the other guys, I'd recommend a sun grenade and okay, okay, rift here, because more champions are going to appear. All right. This is where I would recommend you just spam that grenade. Ooh. Yeah, he had me. That's all right. All right. Still got six minutes. And as soon as you defeat those overload champions, you're going to have some more revives. So just strategize a little bit here. The Hydra is still going to be moving around, and that's okay. Man. My sun bracers did not proc. Okay, almost got the boss down. Oh, here he is. Beautiful. Oh, just in case. Look at that. Okay. Gotta love those... Uh, what do they call them? Helium spirals, I guess? Then if you've got your anti-barrier, you can do that too. Which I'd highly recommend. There we go. The boss is down. And I don't think another one spawns. I doubt it. And there we go. I think I only died once. Maybe twice. Let's see. Cross your fingers and hope I get it. Ready? Set. Oh my god. I can't believe these guys. So you're going to have to grind for this. Okay. Uh, that was a good run. I'm going to have to do it again. Which really, really sucks. All right, guys, hope you uh, learned something from this. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any questions. I will see you on the flippity flip.